Hello everybody, welcome to Undead Over Explained. Um, game 14 I think maybe. Up against Sukun750 here with Skaven. He won the toss, chose to kick in a blizzard. Um, which is interesting, right? Maybe he should have received in the blizzard. That would have given him more time for the blizzard to stop and make his one turn better. Um, he was down some TV here. I don't know what inducement he took. At least I hope he was down TV. <laughs> I had 90k. I assumed that was the, my money in the bank and not uh, and not uh, inducement money. So I assume he got like a babe or something. Uh, sorry, kegs. So what does he have? What what skills does he have here? Is this kick? He's got a kick on the LOS. Okay, interesting. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? I think I'm going to start with the you know, blodger, right? Because he's probably got some kind of thing. Oh, he's got wrestle tackle. So, but still, you know, that might not be able to hit. And he might hit with like a block player or whatever. So let's just get the ball in the blodge stepper. That's the best guy to have the ball. And definitely going to go for maxing blocks here. Oh, he's got another kicker. He's got another kicker. That's why I didn't mind putting him on the LOS. In that case, I'm going to take away both blood steppers. And put them both back deep. Three, four, five, six, seven. And they can both get forward. So, in fact, we don't need to put them quite this far. So I'm very open to a blitz here, right? Which I, I admit, that's really bad versus Skaven. I'm really weak to a blitz. But I really want a three dice with mummies as well, so I don't care. No gym cam tonight, no, I didn't set up the uh, green screen and stuff, so unfortunately, we don't have that. But um, so yeah, so I am leaving myself completely, hopelessly exposed to a blitz. Um, and, you know, there's a lot to be said for not doing that, right? A lot to be said for not doing that. He's so far back deep though, but also it's still maybe the only chance he's got. I'm st I'm still not going to care. I really want to bang. Why can't I end the turn? I didn't have enough players on the pitch. I did not have enough players on the pitch. <laughs> My saved setup didn't have 11 players on the pitch. Incredible. I would have quite happily started with 10 then. He's going to use kick, and it's high kick. Perfect. I would normally use the guy furthest away, but he has got minus PA, and I might have to pass. So let me just go straight up there and turn on my auto clicker so that this lets me uh, click once to move and stand and everything. I, this is essential for me to enjoy the game. <laughs> It's an absolute nightmare if you've got to click 1400 times to stand players up and confirm actions pointlessly. Good evening, Salakas. Right, there we go, that's a AV break. Third dice gets the pow, worth it. Only a stun. Three dice gets the knockdown. Does he, have, he doesn't have wrestle, does he? He's got shadowing. So only stuns. This is tackle, wrestle, kick. So to me, that means I can definitely blitz this guy. Let us put these guys out as a screen for the good players. Time to there. Tuck in here. So 
the tucking in kind of protects us a little bit also it makes you know a frenzy hit on these guys a little bit worse this mighty blow can get blitzed by the rat ogre but if it does he's getting hit back by a block so four knockdowns and four av breaks is good isn't it but unfortunately versus skaven not killing them is bad you really want to make some removals so um i'm not super happy about that turn even though it was you know ostensibly great right knockdowns are good stuns are good but you really 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 kind of want to hurt things permanently when they're av8 plus and pretty much defenseless the whites do look very skeleton like yep yeah, i mean that that is true with the games workshop models as well to be fair Oh, Lemon, thank you very much for staying fantastic for 85 glorious months. Sorry, I was so busy. I was I was talking to the uh, the World Cup people and I was I was uploading a YouTube video and I was having to do everything all at once there, but thank you so much, Lemon. And uh, absolutely glorious. Over 21 Hubio pregnancies. Four. Unbelievable, Jeff. The Jeff W legend. <laughs> The Blizzard is quite good because it stops me making greedy mummy rush play to Blitz, doesn't it? So that does it does help me in that regard. And, uh, so I'm definitely going to keep him on this guy. You can go here and blitz him in, right? And then that will, yeah, yeah, this is pretty good. So now, bearing and bearing, bear with me that that's what's going to happen. How are we going to do the other moves? So actually, I've already made a mistake, right? Because I knew that was going to move that there. This guy should have moved there first. And now I'm going to have to move there after I've blitzed. So I've made, already made a bit of a boo-boo. And I basically just have to blitz first now. And a quad skull will put me in some trouble. Never lucky. I could just foul this uh, this guy. Eh? I'm going to do this 1D first. Just beat him off. I don't want to give the free block. I could foul. Like It's just a lineman though, right? And I want to keep this so I can really foul a good player. I've got to think about the frenzy and if he can do something with frenzy blocks. It doesn't look like it to me. So... Him standing up, I want to be able to punch him if he does stand up, eh? So I think I just need to put him there. Right, I'm going to have to try and play a little bit faster here. The, uh, the problem with the over-explain is I do tend to talk and talk and talk, and it's not really saying what I'm thinking, because I'm trying to think at the same time as I'm talking about something else that I'm not thinking about. So it actually is, surprisingly, a rather difficult thing to do. And... Uh, We'll try, try. Lizards, it's a, it's bad for lizards um, in general. In general. Well, NAF style is bad for lizards, right? Which is 1330. I don't know why I said 1330. What, what is, what is, what is, what is NAF style? 6, 1270? 
1270. It's um, so 1270. It's bad for lizards. If it's if it's so 1500, then you're gonna get you're gonna have like mighty blow tackle stack for the lizards, right? If you've got mighty blow tackle stack for the lizards, it gets a lot more variance. It depends what stats you've got for the uh, skinks. If the skinks have block, it depends how much source. It depends how much source development you've got. Essentially, is the big one. If you've got multiple mighty blow tacklers, then it gets a lot better for the lizards. We're getting lots of punches next turn. Boy, howdy. It's time to get rowdy. Facing everything. Classic strats. Stand this man up. The plan here is obviously to punch the rat ogre. <laughs> That's about as much as we're thinking. Um, I could actually two dice him with the ball carrier, but I think I'd rather blitz him. The problem is if I blitz him, then he's not away, so I think I probably actually do have to just hit him with the ball carrier. Removed. Lovely pal. a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. Cars. <laughs> so now what we're trying to do, we have to try and free this guy up to blitz, right? To foul. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to have to dodge. He's actually going to have to dodge. It's the only way to do this. There's no way for this guy to go either. This is absolutely a pain. Absolute pain here. So I can't blitz with the... Um, with the mummy. Tragic. If the free goo blitzes to one dice, which, as we all know, would fail. So I might as well just dodge. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> I find this to be acceptable. No free zombie, sadly. Um, 
because it's a big guy, so he wouldn't come back as a zombie. Strength 5 or stunties don't come back. Let's argue the call. No. Man, talk about dice. I just lost, I just lost a ghoul there. <laughs> what a disgrace. <laughs> Should come back as a mummy, could you imagine? Oh. So yeah, I mean, this guy would have had like one dice blitz without block, which is just... I mean, yes, technically you would have the reroll, but it would cost a reroll, whereas the dodge doesn't cost the reroll. This keeps the cage corner. It allows the blitz of the guarder to bring him round and do that. So uh, blitzing this guy was basically where the blitz was going to be to free everything up. I would have liked to have blitzed with a mummy. I would have liked, you know, I would have liked to have this been a pow, and then the... the uh, and a rem if it had been a power and a removal, then this guy could have come around and then he could have blitzed him and stuff, but like it was all just a bit awkward. Um, but I mean, this has worked out pretty well, right? Guards on nearly every square he can hit the ball from. So, you know, we haven't got a guard cage corners, but it's close enough. And uh, yeah, didn't the, the thing about if, if I'd blitz with a free goal, then this would have given a block here, which is very good instead of getting blocked, but. That was a much better turn than the first turn, wasn't it? Two cars and a KO. So now we can start trying to hunt the gutters a little bit. I mean, it was it was a little bit unlucky to get sent off, but the fact that it created a Kaz and a uh, Apple fail <laughs> is definitely worth it. Okay, so he didn't die, so that's good. I see a gutter runner. Will he stay in range? He gets a one dice full pal. <laughs> Outrageous. I'll just get away from the tackle, right? No need to stay there. He does not run away, though. Wonderful. So he's out of range of the mummies, but he's not out of range of, uh, of the mighty blow. Blitz. So we're going to make a cage here. Which is a bit of a, a bit of a scary thing, but we've got other players around to make it less scary. I wanted to foul with my sneaky git, but it's just gone, isn't it? I was just thinking, oh, my God, I can sneaky git foul over there, but no, I literally can't. Tree D him with mighty blow, full power. Well, follow, eh? No reason. Oh no, so if I, if, I, if I follow, he could actually chain off the cage corner. So I won't follow. And I, there was no reason not to move these first. That was weird, wasn't it? Like, the, this, the correct play was to move those two first. 
And I did all of the other safe moves first. Like, and then once the ball was safe and the cage was safe, so like, you know, we've got the, yes, it's a based cage, but it extends out a square after the cage. So it's still all right. If he plows this mummy, there's still, you know, dodges to be made in. If he plows this mummy, still got a dodge in. So it's still pretty safe. That's how you can like base a cage. And I always intended this so that he can't just instantly, you know, stand him up and instantly two dice him. So now, you know, he's got to work a little bit to try and solve this. And I've got, yes, okay, basing a ghoul isn't very good, but he has got dodge, so he's not automatically knocked over anything. So, you know, that, that ghoul standing there has now made it either blitz one and block the other, or, you know use two players to make that block, so either way it's not so bad. Maybe it is that bad, right? Maybe I should have just had the ghoul stood here, make a H cage, protect the ghoul, because I don't want him to high roll me at this point, right? I've, I've already removed enough, probably. Um, I've only got 12 players, so I really don't want this ghoul getting removed, so maybe I should have just tried to protect the ghoul as much as possible, to be fair. This wrestle tackle guy, there's all the sprint trophy. I really want to hit him, don't I? I really want to nail him if I can nail him. That would be incredible. He does 1D the ghoul. Does he get lucky? He does not. So first things first. I'll eat your brains. Bit of Nicki Minaj for you there. Three dice with block into a push. That gives us this blitz here. Three dice. Ball is a little bit exposed right now. Let's re-roll. <gasps> he's he's got he hasn't got block. I did not need to re-roll that. That was terrible. That was terrible. Don't mind me. That was terrible. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. That was terrible. Right, that stun though is great. Wow, what a terrible... For some reason, I just thought, oh, and now, now I dub Skull. <laughs> and now I've suddenly only got one reroll left. That was really dumb. So, you know, if you're, uh, if you, if you, before you use a reroll, I was thinking I was going to blitz this wrestle tackle guy and I didn't want to get wrestled. I swear, that's so weird, right? That's so weird that I was just, I saw this and I thought, I really want to block this guy because he's got wrestle tackle, right? He can, he can sack the ball. And then I switched to, actually, I've got to blitz, I've got to blitz the sidestep sure, sprinter because he's a bigger one turn threat, right? Like, I feel like I'm not going to get stripped at this point. I feel like I'm, I'm in control enough that I'm not, well, not stripped, wrestle tackled. I don't care so much about the uphill at this point. So then I thought, well, I've got to switch focus this guy. And then in my head, I was still going for this guy. So I had to re-roll it. So that was pretty bad, wasn't it? That was a pretty bad, um, a pretty bad play there by Jim. And uh, I think I would do that mistake. Even if I was concentrating, it's one of those things where like, you know, in your head, 
you think something in your head. You can get ahead of yourself as well. You can kind of think, right, I'll punch this guy and then I'll move this guy. And then you just move that guy before you punch the other one, right? Like that three dice. I was, I was always going to three dice with a mummy and then, and then blitz. And there's times when I've just done the blitz and like, you know, made a dodge for no reason. And maybe like super concentrating would solve that. But I feel like people kind of make those mistakes just sometimes anyway. He just makes every single roll. Unbelievable, Jeff. Protect the girl there. Use this guy to occupy both down players. And blitz. This guy's kind of annoying, right? Frenzy, tackle, kick. He's got he's got some useful skills. He doesn't have block, and I know he hasn't got block, so I can happily take the ball down this time. Unfortunately, my opponent is a very, very slow player, and I'm playing slow because of the uh, explainy thing, so I'm really going to have to try and play faster now um, to get this game finished before the next <laughs> World Cup match. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, my bot worked on the uh, on the publishing thing. Good. Frenzy Surf Blitz. Oh yeah, he could actually surf this guy, couldn't he? But it would have been a big commitment. I didn't think of that. I'll be honest. That was. I was thinking I wanted to hold this line so that I can maybe turn the corner to get forward into range. So like I actually wanted to hold this. Like it was purposeful to hold this side line. Um, and I didn't think about the possibility of me both downing on the blitz. I was just thinking I was going to push him or pow, push pow him, right? And then kind of didn't think about the... Even though I knew he didn't have block, I didn't really consider the what if I roll the both down. Like, this is a big commitment, right? You'd have to put in two players there to surf. And if he puts in two players here, he's probably not going to defend a touchdown. So it probably is fine, but I should have at least thought about it and realised it was fine. But I'll be honest, I didn't. And, uh, you know, this maybe isn't the best. It, yeah, very good, Hellboy. It is a bit slow, Rexpain. Yeah, yeah, it is easy to go slow when you know you're trying to talk more. But he's really slow. He's he's running out of time every turn. Going at time bank is pretty unusual in a random ladder game. He's stopping the score, but yeah, you know, probably not. It does seem that way, but sneaky get dirty player um, is a thing, Captain Smith. And the sneaky get dirty player is a big change. And the arguing the call. So I've got the ball in a safe cage, so I'm just going to start with a punch. It's a stun. It's tempting to blitz this guy and really go in the corner here, but I'm just going to smash forward. I'm just going to smash forward. Because I want to not let him uh, on turn.
Okay, well that isn't great, is it? So I think I just like jam in here, right, like an idiot, almost. I think I can stand here. I could just have a full cage, couldn't I? The problem is then he can come in around the back, which I don't really want him to do. So I think this is the best play. Even though this gives him a 1D into not dodging at all. But then he's got to make a few more. Maybe this was wrong. Maybe this was wrong. Maybe I should have just done an X cage. The thing is, if I do an X cage, he runs in the back and strips me. Well, it doesn't strip me, wrestle tackles me. Which is like very easy, right? Five plus. So I don't want him to just come in the back and on a five plus. So now he is going to uphill the mummy. Yes, he's definitely going to uphill the mummy. And then uphill the ball. So this is easier. <laughs> Probably than a f five. No, no, this is probably harder than a five plus, isn't it? Because if he comes in here, he can power it, and then he can get away and score. Whereas now he's he's coming in from like a bad a, a bad a badder, a worse direction. He's coming in from a worse direction. He's got to use these players. To, he's got to activate these players before he makes the hit. I feel like this is a bit. Oh, I've just seen strip ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a strip ball. Okay, he has a strip ball lineman. I did not know he has a strip ball lineman. Had I looked at his random skills, I would have realised that X caging was better. <laughs> I was not expecting a strip ball lineman. Okay, hello Sambo Simon. We're maybe not winning. No, we're maybe losing. In fact. I was so obsessed about stopping the wrestle tackle guy in, who in my head is a wrestle stripper, that I forgot about a strip ball lineman. Wow, that was a terrible stand up by him. This is still an uphill, right? This is still an uphill blitz, but yeah, it is an uphill strip. God damn it. <sighs> so annoying. What are you thinking about, fella? <laughs> fella? I guess we've got to go here. It's actually still hard to get to him, right? It's still hard to get the ball. But I was thinking he was going to run around with a wrestle tackle. <laughs> well that everybody is how you defend the ball easy <laughs> why isn't everybody as good as me <laughs> wonderful Do a blockless block. Huh. 
I have to do a block plus block. don't think there's any way I can not because if, uh, if I block this guy that's a 2d but that's not helping me with this hit anyway and I can only be three four five six so it is just a blockless block is all I can do You could have bet your house on it, and it's because, it's because I um, I re-rolled that thing that I didn't need to re-roll, right? A few turns earlier, when I got that three dice on the blockless player, that I re-rolled, spurious re-roll, comes back and bites me in my ass. Dodging is the same odds, Skytruck, it's still a one in nine to fail, but failing this meant that this rookie ghoul got hurt and failing this meant that my uh, block step ghoul got hurt. Yep, so that, that idiotic not paying attention or whatever it was that I didn't do when I just did that reroll. It's because I changed plans. I planned to blitz the wrestle tackle and then chain, change to the sidestep sprint. But yeah, maybe if I'd been locked in I wouldn't make that mistake. But goddamn, can you believe it, eh? Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Maybe I should have blitzed this guy and chained off the other one. Because there's nobody stood here, right? So this blitz that I did on the blocker, maybe I could have run around and chained him off directly. Maybe that's what I should have done. I can draw this game now. Oh dear, because he can just score quickly, can't he? Because he's scathing. Oh, I wish he was faster. This has taken so long. <laughs> I'm going to be late for the, the start of the... I, mean, I might just have to concede. It's taken literally so long. Every turn he's taking two minutes. There's nothing there's nothing on the line. He can't score. It's turn six. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> now the game's just lagging. Game is just not the game. Just won't load save setups. The game is just conspiring. I'm, I'm going to have to concede this to in time for the. I could ask people to start a bit later, couldn't I? Who, who, right? What's the next game? Somebody tell me what the next game is, please. Okay, sidesteppers here. So the weaker players there, mighty blow, one side, ghoul the other side. In fact, he probably wants to blitz the ghoul's weaker, isn't he? Okay. So now either he goes the side. Yeah, yeah. This is this is better, right? So just normal chevrons, I guess. Yeah, because he's got. Oh no, he hasn't got a mummy. <laughs> he does have. He does have frenzy tackle though. Okay. Right, I can ask. I can ask the people who are playing to maybe start later.
Oh, okay, I can ask Sapatsky. I don't think Sergo will do me a favour. He's going into time bank on the setup. <sighs> it's every turn two minutes. It would be okay, like, I'm, I'm not a, like, entitled whine or anything, it's just, like, it's fair enough people take the time, fair enough, it's just annoying with, you know, there being a match on at nine that I want to cast, and it's going to be very difficult to fit in, finish this game in turn. <laughs> I don't think so, Steve, he's been, he's been really slow since the start. It's a slow player, like it's fair, like it's fine, like right? it's just totally fine. But, oh, this could be faster, he's daquering. Well, okay, it might not be faster for him. But maybe I should have aggressive Chevron there. Haha, <laughs> Bucky. <laughs> No, I, uh, I messaged, I messaged the Patsky, so hopefully he'll start a little bit later. Oh my God. I can't believe that that, that re-roll has cost me. I can't believe it. Well, I mean, I can, because it's me, but. God damn. End the turn! Oh god. He's really going to use all two minutes on a Dakar where he doesn't move anybody. <laughs> I'm glad I killed his rat ogre, that's all I can say. So, 
I know this isn't the best, is it, for an over-explained video. I do apologise. Oh my god, he's got frenzy. Okay, he's got a rush in the in the blizzard. I'll pretend I knew that. I'll pretend I knew that. I could have had the sidesteppers there and the frenzy wasn't a problem. But instead I thought I'll protect the sidesteppers because he's got tackle. But I mean I've just completely zoned out because he's taken so long and I'm just desperately wanted to finish before the World Cup game starts. So I've got no, I've got no, like it's just killing me, isn't it? It's just absolutely killing me. I've, got, I've completely lost focus on the game and I should be like, this is interesting because it's how to defend against a DACA, blah, 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 blah. But instead, I'm just like kill me now, which is not not good, is it? I do apologise. You've moved everyone. All right, so we're just gonna get up here a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do, move this guy to here. No, this is okay. This is fine. So we've got the zombies in the middle because they're slow. We've got sidesteppers on the extreme edge. And we've got mummies kind of central. You don't, well, I mean, vampires do have two runners that are fast but in general vampires just want to bang it in and get back on defense right because they're so impossible to defend against now that their gear is on a two plus so um oh i've just realized it's nil nil so i actually have to go for him don't i, I actually have to go towards him because it's nil nil if i don't if i just defend i'll just draw <laughs> I was thinking, oh, this is good, he won't be able to get past. But that's not good enough, I actually have to go forward. Oh, God, kill me now. <sighs> no, I should have won this game, shouldn't I, Sambo Simon? I want to win, I don't want to draw. I guess for my sanity and getting this game finished in the next day, I, want, I should draw. But... I want to win, I don't want to draw. He wants to draw, man. Yuck. So the last turn was a complete disaster because I didn't move forward because I was just going to try and defend the Dakar. But now, I've just realised I want to win. Okay, we're, we're, at least we're doing good for time now, anyway. At least we're doing good for time, because, you know... <sighs> Jesus.
God, I got so stressed out at just how long he was taking. The fact that you can't go back on live games, right? So if I miss the start, I just miss the start. guy he might just message me now as a patsky so should be all right so yeah i'm sorry for the uh sorry everybody watching on youtube for a not very over explained game because i was so stressed out by having to play at nine. Oh dear well not not gonna play having to commentate at nine. the world championship game and not wanting to mess that up that I've completely messed up this defence. I should have been should have been going max forward. I should have set up one back with the side steppers there. So aggressive chevrons then this would have been turn one. And then well no sorry, so then turn one, turn two. I'd have been here in turn in three turns instead of four turns. So I should have been here in three turns instead of four turns. <laughs> nice frenzy, mate. Where'd you get him? Oh, was it the ship frenzy shot? <laughs> what you gonna do, Skaven, when zombies run wild on you? <laughs> wow, I can't believe you did that. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? That was pretty fun. <laughs> that was pretty fun. As far as attempted surf score, that was one of my favourites. <laughs> Injured.
Ooh, maybe I could uh, base... No, he, can, no, he can't surf me. Not easily. Maybe I should base the guard. That seems good, doesn't it? Let's go back and base the guard. Stay where I am there. Dodge and go to there. I'll dodge and go to there. Okay, so we've we've pressured him pretty heavily, right? Knock pillars down, remove players. This is pretty good. This isn't really an outlook for him. I didn't follow the mummy, did I? Because I wanted to keep the keep this like all the formation. You can roll some dice. I can't really stop him rolling some dice. But I was quite happy with that turn. Got a lot of pressure. Would have been good to have done it a turn before, but never mind. Like this this mummy isn't a good square, but maybe I should have followed. Stopping his players moving is good, isn't it? Like they're only arch three plus. This is a little bit weak here. Okay, now he, you know, he could have done this move if I'd followed, but he would have had to stand this guy up first, right? So now he gets an extra gutter through. Oh! Oh, so he's going to blitz with a gutter. Nope, he's just going to 3 plus dodge, why not? Get some free movement. Yep, good. fail dodges do they? I've only ever seen one person roll snake eyes in my life. I don't know if I've mentioned this. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> during the World Championship I might have rolled a uh, snake eyes. Just quietly. He dies in the ball, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah this, that was really bad, wasn't it, from him? He got all the dice, but um, I still instantly got two dice in the ball with block. Have block, he doesn't have block, he doesn't have block. Hey, don't bat. Just 
detailed. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush pickup. Three dice him. Doesn't have block. Made the dodge outrageous. Made the rush and the pickup even more outrageous. I guess it's punching. Okay, pretty good. I mean, it's still pretty easy for him to get the ball back, right? But. Really good to only use one reroll and have the ball in hand. I mean, that is very good. And he's only got a 1D on the ball easily. And if he wrestles, he doesn't get it, so. This is pretty good. Oh yeah, if I'd followed, I would have had a tackle zone on the scatter. But I, I mean, this was—I th felt like this was a better place to stand. He's not blitzing with a wrestle tackle. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Full pow. I mean, of, of course it is. Why would it be anything except a full pow when you've got a wrestle tackle right here? and you blitz with the wrong gutter runner. <laughs> Why on earth would it be anything except the full power? Right, so if I go here, it's got two good, three good scatters. If I go here, it's got two, three, four. Yeah, I've got more good scatters going here. He's close to the end zone, but I've got more. Of course, it's perfect for him. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, of course. Good. Oh yeah, so haven't lost. Haven't lost, at least, yet. Might as well 3D this with block. I don't want him to catch it, do I? So I have to push him out of there. Why is that only a two? Oh, I don't mind me, I'm stupid.
He could foul that gutter or go, go and get that gutter is the best, isn't it? That's just a... Oh, that's a dodge with dodge or a rush. So it's better do the rush, isn't it? Because he's got tackle. So it's better that I fall on the ball. I don't think it matters where I fall. He's the guy who's going to score. <laughs> One D pow, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could sound off to him, but I can also go like one back now. Yeah, one, one looks better there, doesn't it? And go here and foul him. Shadowing. Then it looks like I just want to be fouling him, but actually I'm getting in scoring range. Perfect. Sneaky scoring threat. <laughs> No excuses needed to foul right. <laughs> like that was the better square, right? To keep to keep him pinned in, but I think just moving there and not fouling was the best play. But I want a scoring threat. So then if I go there, then I'm obviously just a scoring threat, right? Whereas if I foul him, it looks like I'm just trying to foul him and I haven't cared about where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, mummy touchdown would be. I could go for the mummy touchdown if I'd uh, if I had uh, scored my touch. Oh, this time he does wrestle wrestle tackle blitz and wrestles. And now my two rolls, two re rolls used to um, pick up and block look terrible now, don't they? Now it's a 3 3 to win. Man, this should have been a win, but it was my fault. It was bad play. It was bad play re rolling that block that didn't need to be re rolled earlier. I recognise Tim as the scoring threat, but we've still got this one. Alright. So. Three dice this guy. Made the pickup. <sighs> well, 
diced out of the win there, but what can I say? It was my fault for re-rolling that, that three dice block and not re not realising the guy didn't have block that, so it was my fault. Um, and there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.